What's up, YouTubers? So before we get started with this video on ESPN, I'm going to be reading you guys an article that has to do with Dallas Cowboys wide receivers Amari Cooper and C.D. Lamb. Um, I always want to talk about C.D. Lamb, but I never really had a chance to. So he's a rookie out of Oklahoma. Um, he's an absolute baller. Um, so this isn't my article either. This article is written by Todd Archer, ESPN staff writer. So I'm just going to read it to you guys and throw in a little bit of commentary. You guys can watch the highlights, you know, up top. So let me read this. Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb, a great pickup for the Cowboys. Um, so Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Amari Cooper has high hopes for the team's receiving course with the addition of first round pick C.D. Lamb. Yeah, I definitely have high expectations for them too because C.D. Lamb is an absolute baller. He has one of the best uh, catches in college football for the past couple years. Um, so he's definitely a baller. Um, Cooper, who signed a five year, $100 million deal to remain with the Cowboys in March, had a career high 1,189 receiving yards in 2019. Michael Gallup had 1,107 yards as they became the first pair of Dallas wide receivers to post 1,000 yard seasons in the same year since 2006. So if these boys are bowling like that without CeeDee Lamb, I mean, they can, it's only going to get better. And I can picture them, they're going to be so devastating on offense that, you know, defense is not going to know who to cover. That's how good I think CD Lamb is. Actually, I think he should have been in one, the first or the second overall pick for uh, wide receivers. But I don't know, it is what it is. So moving down, Lamb fell to the Cowboys pick at number 17 overall after he posted back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons at Oklahoma and was viewed by many as a top receiver in a draft. So I thought he was a top receiver too. Um, so he was the third receiver taken overall. So there's two picks before him. So let me read those for you guys real quick. So the 12th pick overall was a wide receiver, Hemi Ruggs. Uh, he was drafted by the Oakland Raiders. and He came out of Alabama. And then the 15th pick overall was Jerry Judy. He got picked up by the Denver Broncos, and he came out of Alabama too. And then CeeDee Lamb was the 17th pick. Obviously, he went to the Dallas Cowboys, and he came out of Oklahoma. So that's a little off of what I thought he would be, but CeeDee Lamb is definitely a baller. I can see him fitting in with Dallas very, very well. Um, so let's see. I think it was a great pickup, Cooper said. You have to draft the best player on the board. Everybody understands that. He's a great receiver. I think with me and Michael Gallup going for 1,000 yards last year, the expectation is to have three 1,000-yard receivers this year. I can definitely see that happening. That's how good a hands I think C.D. Lamb is, what type of player I think he is. They can definitely complement that Dodge Cowboys and be the third 1,000-yard catcher um for that team so there have been only a few incidences in which an nfl team has had three 1000 yard pass catchers in a season with the last coming in 2008 when larry fitzgerald Anquan baldwin and steve breston each went for more than 1000 yards with the dallas with the i'm sorry about that the arizona cardinals um cooper spoke to the media tuesday for the first time since deciding to remain with the cowboys despite a large offer from washington Wow, so Amari Cooper was offered more money to go with the Washington Redskins? That's interesting. So um, his deal with the Cowboys included a $10 million signing bonus and a fully guaranteed $40 million. Wow, must be nice. Must be nice. His $20 million base salary in 2022 will become fully guaranteed if he's on the roster the fifth day of the 2022 league year, which I think he'll be there. For $20 million, I think he'll be there too. Um, I just liked everything about being a Dallas Cowboy. Just the atmosphere both in the building and outside the building in terms of the city of Dallas and surrounding areas, said Cooper, who was acquired in a 2018 trade from the Oakland Raiders. Or from the Raiders. So that was a bad move by the Oakland Raiders, I thought, to let Amari Cooper get away from them because he's an absolute baller. Um, so, you know, that's bad on them. Um, I guess that would be the same reason why I was willing to take less money to stay here that coupled with the fact that i've been privileged to play on different teams so i understand the culture isn't the same in every city every team isn't the same me being able to see that on another team and having the opportunity to be on a team i really love i wouldn't trade that for a little bit more money well it's not a little bit more money it's a lot more money it's about, what 10 million dollars but at the end of the day, you definitely want to be with a team and a place that you like playing because you always play better when you're happy where you're at. So I guess that's worth the money. Um, in Dallas, being a Dallas Cowboy has a lot that comes with it because they have a lot of tradition. Um, they haven't won a Super Bowl in a while, but still, there's a lot of tradition that goes along with being a Dallas Cowboy. 
So moving on, despite no official offseason program, Cooper said he does not feel behind in his preparation for the 2020 season. The Cowboys are only on the second day of on-field conditioning since players reported to the start last week. The first pattern practice is not until August 17th. Woo, August 17th, they start getting gear, huh? I can't wait, cannot wait. Um, so Cooper said he has some machines at his house that helped him, that helped keep him in shape. And he bought a gym membership. You would think he wouldn't have to buy a gym membership. You'd think the Cowboys would pay for it or he'd be able to go to their facilities or go to the local college and be able to work out there. If not, the local high school. You know, those kids would love to have that. They'd be inspired by him. So moving on. He also said he and quarterback Dak Prescott with receivers, with other receivers, tight ends, and running backs worked out together, including some at a football field uh, Preston built in his backyard. Jeez, Dak Prescott has a... a a football field in his backyard that's crazy not a little basketball court but he has uh at least 100 yards worth of field back there that's out of control that's dedication right there really plus he's and he's going to get paid so i don't know uh we've all been getting together pretty consistently for months now cooper said working on route running working on offense and everything like that we've been getting a lot getting getting a lot of work in getting that timing right as if we were in mini camp or otas in the workouts, Lamb impressed Cooper. I think he's a quick learner, Cooper said. He already has a good foundation. He's fundamentally sound in his route running. It's very small, nitpicky things that I help him with that I may see with him being a rookie. But I think he has a really good foundation. So that's it for the article. This is a pretty good article. Like I said, I always want to talk about C.D. Lamb, the rookie wide receiver from out of Oklahoma that was picked up by the Dallas Cowboys. I think he's going to do just fine with Dallas Cowboys. He's going to fit in perfectly. I think he's going to make the Dallas Cowboys even more dangerous because he's got hands and he's got skills. And I see no reason why they can't have three 1,000-yard uh, catcher receivers, 1,000-yard receivers. Um, so, again, this isn't my article um, I just wanted to talk about, you know, uh, C.D. Lamb, like I said. So I guess that wraps it up.